it's me again and the bitching will start now. I just posted a redress of grievances. If you actually take a look at the Bill of Rights, the First Amendment, well, we have a redress of grievances. Now, if you are with the war or against the war, but you want a plan that will work, then you better go and sign a redress of grievances with your congressman. There are soldiers out there from Soldiers Voices, and I do have the web link on my video. Please go and check out some of the sayings from people here and over there of what's going on. We do need to help our soldiers. If you support the troops, please go and volunteer, go to the hospitals, even attend a funeral and comfort the families. That's what we can do. If we're going to be stuck over there, as well as move to a next door neighbor, we better like get ready for all of this. Because right now, if our guys are sitting ducks, why are they sitting ducks? The security is laxing. Why? Some of the guys are saying that. They're trying to do what they can from their commanders. But from what Bush's plans are, they have to be translated into proper military action. Is it being done? How long is it going to take? And what the hell are we doing? We can sit here and make cutesy little videos of, you know, just whatever we want. That's great. But when it comes to the real media, we're being fed a lot of BS. So if you really want to get involved, get involved. Because if you can put out a daily diary of yourself and questions you have, then start going out there and looking. I did off of a totally different news media called Democracy Now. Amy Goodman is great. I used to work at the TV station. They started airing her on and putting it out on the net. She does everything from protests down in South America to what's going on here. And a few of the stories came around to where deserters, people going AWOL, the young lady who had put grievances against sexual harassment against her. And there are a lot of women over in Iraq. And not all of them are standing up, as you also heard here in Colorado with the Academy what is going on? Get informed. Please help our soldiers, sailors, any branch of the military, help them so that then we can be a better governed people. That is what they want over there so that they have the proper orders to do their job. You want something in writing telling you what you need to do to get the job done. We, as the people, don't know what the job is right now. Go and find out so we can help our troops. Now, as I said, for my notes, there's two websites. Go and see what these people are saying. If you agree, please help them. If you don't agree, post that grievance so that we all can understand each other. Our problem is with our enemy, we can't post grievances to them. They really haven't posted grievances. They're just doing violent things. And if we are supposed to be humans and respect life, that should be the first thing that should come out of any leader's mouth right now. If one side wants to be regarded and respected, the other side has to do the same. But. These leaders need to do something so that it's out on the table and in a proper manner. And that includes any of this religious uprising. It's just bullshit. If you have a way of life and you love it and you don't want to be bothered, just state this is how we are and this is what we do. From looking at how the Muslim people are, they go to work they go to their markets, they teach their children. Why is it now that everybody has to rise up? Is it because some political interest with some corporation wants to take over? Well, let's do something about it. 
get it cleaned up, make sure that life is going well for them in their own way, not force our way on others that didn't live that way before. with Martin Luther King Day here and I asked about what's your dream I've already told you what my dream is because I'm doing it I'm putting these videos out to you getting you informed and doing the right thing so please get informed elsewhere the internet has so much stuff whether it's true or not true but it allows you to come to an agreement within your own mind. But do not get violent. Do not offend others because others are dying because you offended. We should not be offending. But if it is constructive criticism, please let's get a new emoticon for any place that you type stating this is constructive criticism. So. I'm going to end this right now. I'll have another one getting into more detail because I'm allow the Soldiers Voices website to know that I put my neck on the line to put their voice out there. Thank you very much.